There's a deal. I'm not bothering. I went and got all the bottles off screen because I don't really want to go through that trouble, especially for this and the next. We returned with more of Sly 2 benefits. Now we're going to get the safe and then we're going to be in the operation. Yeah, I do this for sinking purposes. And surprisingly, the operation's right here. Operation Trojan. As for the safe itself, it's all the way on the other end of the town. I'm serious. If there's one thing I dislike about Slide 2 Ben of these, are it's these missions. These missions where it's all too dark. Because honestly, it also has an effect on the video itself. Like, you're recording the video and it gets way too dark. I mean, seriously, yeah, I wish these games were ported to the PS4, PS5, because it would mean people that finally get to enjoy the original trilogy. And it would also make for people getting an easier means to get trophies. I won't lie, that's actually a lot easier. Not to mention I have one of my favorite moves. Not to mention it has one of my favorite moves. The Voltage Attack. The voltage attack, in my opinion, is I consider my favorite move in Sly 2 Band of Thieves. So all you do is click, wipe, one hit kill. Like I said, not a fan of the missions, or rather the Contessa missions altogether. Hopefully once we reach Jombie Son, things are gonna get much easier. Safe, surprisingly? Right here. Yeah, thankfully Sly 3, well, it doesn't let you get like, get like that stuff. But anyway, let's open the safe. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I'd thought. I believe the code is 248. And this nets us the next move for Sly Cooper. This is the Long Toss. You've gotten the Long Toss move! Yep, we did. I'll see you in the operation itself. Don't worry, it won't take long. The time has come. Now it's time we begin our operation. Operation Trojan Tank. Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Oh yeah, Bentley has his own moves. Trigger bomb, snooze bomb, adrenaline burst. Oh yeah, they all get the long toss move, which is nice. I find that to be very interesting. <laughs> Just wow, that was lousy. You know what? We're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he also has the snooze bomb. We might make use of that. Mm-hmm. Oops, my bad. Time to begin this operation. Room. Crawl underneath this thing. 
thing and let's get moving. Consider it done. Time to rescue Murray. I can't see you down there, so try to keep up and stay out of sight. Understood. They better. Suckers. You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Consider it done. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center, but to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. And luckily for us, there is a way. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. Understood. Let's only hope we're not too late. Take that. Come on, I took the long way down? BS. Nope, it did not work either. Come on. This cannot be this difficult. Like I said, I am not a fan of the contestant missions. 
Unlike the uh, later entries like with Zombie Son and Arpeggio, they're not my cup of tea. And they're not fun to deal with, especially when you want to try to get every bottle in the game. Let's deal with him, activate the code, and get into solitary. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. There it is. Oh, great. Oh, that looks bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno-boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice. And he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno-boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Yup. Now we need to find a way to get up there. Right, time okay, to get started. I'm hacking the laser barrier. You need to hack four of these. Yeah, I like that this game gives you a lot of variety. Maybe way too much to take down. Seriously.
All right, that did it. Flip the switch to turn on the hypno box. What's that sound? Angry. Get gone. Murray seems to remind me of the Hulk for some reason. I'll take care of the laser wall. Second one. You're also going to notice that the further you go, it speeds up. And it's going to get much harder. That did it, that's two. All clear. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything. Ah! Things are gonna get really rough. Triple barriers. Hopefully once I'm done with slide two, we'll be moving on to slide three in honor of month these. It was one game I could never do a full flavor on for whatever reason. I did play two as a point one, two, and four. Never three. So hopefully with this, I can be able to do that. Not to mention my viewership has been absolutely pitiful. And some commenters are going to say, well, it's not your fault you're supposed to do editing content. Well, here's the thing. I'm only one person who can only do so much. I don't have an editor. If I did, we would not have this conversation. This is like no big deal. And there you go. Now comes this part. There you go. Watch out! 
Yeah, this next part's actually pretty easy. Trust me, once you take them all down, you'll be back to normal. Like so. Ugh, my head. Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm... Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con... Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it. With Murray free, now we gotta move. Finally, too, because man, I feel bad for Murray. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you have to lift them both. Let's now go. Let's punch it. Let's punch it because we gotta stop it. And I gotta make you sure I get a spare flash drive. No good head shrinker. Oh, come now, Murray. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. Yep, now we gotta fight. We gotta get after that little wench. Oh yeah, if you throw them out, that actually works too. Yeah, just ignore them. Focus on her. Pal, we'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. Nope, she doesn't. And that's it for this episode. See you in the next one. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. <laughs> <laughs>